permeate and kind of think about it for a minute. <laughs> and I'll go to the community page. Thanks, Shannon, because I kind of want to participate in that as well. But the reason I said this could be a possibility is because this is the type of item that if you have a cell phone and if you drive a car, you can use, you will need, and you will love because it will make you a better, safer driver because you're hands-free, you're not distracted, your cell phone's not sliding around on the dashboard or falling in between the seats. It is a cell phone holder, and that in and of itself is super great. It's efficient, it's safer, it turns to do landscape mode, but it also has a dual USB port so that you can charge your gadgets. You can charge your phone as you're using it. You still have that um, adapter, 12 volt, that used to be a cigarette lighter. I don't know what they call it nowadays, but you can use that as well. So essentially what you're getting is a way to safely store your phone and hold it while you're driving, which is so important, but also charge your items as well. This is from Auto Smith, a brand we all know and love. It's an under $20 gift. And again, if it's a teenage driver, if it's your husband, if it's a woman, it doesn't matter. If you drive and you have a cell phone, Pete, I think you really need this in your life because it just makes it so much safer. Exactly, and it you were really describing does. me before the phone holder. With the phone sliding With, around exactly. on the dash I, and things. I, that's, you know, you get in the car and you, like, you look at it briefly, then you put it there on the on the seat or I put it in the cup yeah. holder and then I have a drink in there so it's flying around in the seat and then I'm looking at it, I pick it up Always. and we know that that's, that's just not safe. But if you could have the phone in that same spot every time and if you have to look at it briefly, if you are looking for navigation from it, it's going to be right there, so it will be the safest way. And there you can see it. And I'll come around here, Michelle, yeah, and I'll, let's I'll do show it. everyone. Again, we have it in our, our dashboards right here. So here's another thing I think is so cool about this. When you're, when you're putting this into your phone holder, it's really fast. So no one has to think about, oh, is it difficult to do? Is it gonna take a long time? Look at that. Now, this is the iPhone 7 Plus. So that's the big one. Yeah, the big one. Holds that great. <laughs> it's gonna hold the smaller one as well. So whatever phone you have. So. Imagine your driver's right here. So now I have this plugged in. I can have it any way you want. You can tilt it because we have that arm. You can make it lower. Wherever it is, it's going to fit perfectly. So when you're driving or anyone else on your gift list is driving, sure. as you said, if you drive, certainly we all have a cell phone, you are going to love this. Now, let me go through all the details about this. Here we go. I have one right here. You talked about that. The cool thing about it is when it goes in your cigarette lighter yeah. adapter, we still call it your 12 volt adapter. So it can go in there, then you've got this flexible arm. So that means we're gonna be able to put it wherever you want it. And think about this, maybe your cigarette lighter adapter is in that center console. Uh -huh. You can push that down like that. You can still have it exactly where you want. But now here's the neat part. You still have your 12 volt adapter available because we have that pass through. So right. the power is still gonna be available there. Then right here, two USB ports, that might be the coolest thing. I don't have this. those built into my car, exactly. first of all. So. so depending upon the age of your car, even if you have yeah. a brand new car, maybe you have a USB mine's port. Mine's an 05. <laughs> exactly. Uh, mine doesn't have, I think mine's an 11 and it, you doesn't, got me beat. And it doesn't have it. So right. if you don't have the USB ports, this is perfect because not only are you using your phone more safely, you're charging it while you're driving, simple and easy. You don't need a car charger or anything weird like that. So two USB ports and a way to hold your phone. And I'll show you how that works. Look, inside here, they're gonna be hard to see, but there's some really nice, super soft rubber that's gonna make sure so no slip. And then here's what we're doing. We're just gonna extend that out and it's gonna grab your so phone. So it can fit so your phone, exactly, your MP3 player, yes, maybe whatever device it exactly. is. And it's funny, when you say hands-free, at first I thought, well, you know, I use Bluetooth, or if I do my navigation, I've got it on speaker, but what happens? I'm always looking for the phone because I need to see the turn or see what I'm doing. So if I'm using my cup holders, where does it go? On the seat. I've had it fall down when I'm driving and go under the pedals, which is what you don't want at all. So regardless of how you're talking on the phone or hearing other people, you need somewhere to put it. And it shouldn't be the cup holder. You don't want it on the dash. You don't want to be holding it in your hand while you've got your hand on the wheel. So this is just a simple way to have it in one spot. It's sturdy. You can see you don't need tools to get it started. So if you're switching between cars, there's no reason you couldn't take it to the other car, correct? Sure. And it's under $20. So get it for yourself or again, do this for gifting. Anybody in your life who you know drives and has a cell phone, it's another one of those practical problem solving gifts. But not only that, you're keeping them a little bit safer on the road because there's nothing worse than being distracted. We know we shouldn't text. We know we shouldn't be fiddling with our phones, but if you get that call or you're dealing with the navigation system, let's face it, you, you gotta use your hands to hold it unless you have something like this that holds it for you. Yeah, exactly. And I know if you're out there and you're thinking, well, I don't know if I should get this 
because I know the person I'm thinking about, well, they have the, their phone connected to the Bluetooth. Right, yes, well, yeah. It's, it's still not need a for place that, to put it. Because I have the Bluetooth and I'm not actually holding my phone and talking on it, but the phone is still going all over the car. Well, I I'm like the idea too. The phone. And That's if you are problem. gifting somebody, yeah. you don't have to know what type of phone they have because no. this adjusts to fit all the different sizes. Yeah. So that makes it a really simple way yeah. to gift someone without that concern. So, so again, so you obviously we know that. So that that iPhone Plus and there's some of the other Samsung models that are larger. So that one fits really nice in there. So I'll put that down. But this would be the size of my phone. So I have that iPhone six and it does a great job on those as well. So it doesn't matter what type of phone you have. And I like that. It's not a complicated process. You're yeah. not gonna spend extra minutes getting in and out of here. It's safer, so it's going to be easier. You can put it landscape, whatever, I think that's what we call that. That's or great when you're So whatever GPS. way you wanna use it, it's going to be perfect. And remember, so now, not only it's safer when you're using this as the navigation system, and so many of us are using the phone, even for those short trips, where am I going? What happens when you use your navigation on your phone? It chews up that battery, yes, it eats up the battery. So, so now right. you have it in your phone holder, you have it charging with the, one of the two USB ports, and maybe you're charging something else at the same time. Uh -huh. That's fantastic, so on those long trips, it was always a panic saying, well, if I'm not charging the phone and I'm using the navigation system for an hour, I mean, your battery's gone yeah. quickly, but not anymore. So this solves that problem. And don't forget, even if they have the Bluetooth, they need this because you are looking at your phone. I know you're saying you're not looking at your phone. <laughs> I tell myself every <laughs> day, stop looking at yeah. your phone, but we're looking at it. This holds it perfectly. So here we go, we're gonna charge it. But instead of just throwing it on the seat next to you, you have it right where you want it. It could be facing you perfect. Okay, I've got the nav system on now. And we try to make it the briefest of looks so our eyes are focused well, on you know the road, what? right? And we keep talking about the nav system, but even if you just, you get a phone call, like what happens when you're driving and your <laughs> phone rings and now you're, oh, digging through your bag or, oh, where did I set the phone? Or now it's between the seats. At least it's somewhere where you just, you can still have your hands on the wheel and just glance over and it's right there and see who's calling and just hit answer. And there's no worries about that, even if you're using Bluetooth or you put it on speaker. So it really just simplifies your life. And it's nice too that, it's flexible so you if let's say the sun's coming in and there's a little glare on your phone you can tilt it down if you need to I don't have the uh, clamp part on here but it just goes on like this or you know if there's two of you driving and you've got the nav system going and you're driving you can turn it to the passenger and they can tell you when a turn is coming up it just makes it very easy to be able to adjust this and it's one of those gifts under $20 again that will be used every single day and Pete I was telling you earlier I just got back from a road trip that the whole yep. family took we went to North Carolina to visit my aunt and I fell asleep while my husband was driving and I woke up and he was driving with the nav navigation on the phone and he had it resting very precariously on top of his leg because we were using the cup holders we were using the right. chargers it was a road trip and I'm like honey how long have you been doing that and he's it's fine it's fine and it must have fallen three or four times because he was trying to balance it right and these you, are little things we all do exactly and you <laughs> mentioned hope, that you're doing that so it's on your knee right. so all right, I've done that too. I'm okay. probably too Maybe much. So you're driving and you're looking down. And yes. we all know it's those briefest of moments that you look down that can be certainly, you know, the really the, the things that cause problems. And yeah. again, we want to be paying attention as much as possible. So if you can be driving, and now I can have this positioned exactly the way I want, and now it's a, it's a much easier way to look at that nav system and making sure that we're focusing on the road. And I wanted to show you this one. So I have even one of a smaller phone in here. Fits it great. And now you can see I've got the power cord, it plugs right in to that USB, and then you're just gonna plug that into your 12 volt adapter. And don't forget, maybe you have something else for the kids that you're charging. Yeah, you can mine, still they were watching a movie um, yeah. on those little portable DVD players, and, and that's the type of yes. plug that you need, so I could use both. Right. That's so, great. Wow, that solves a big problem. So you're going to keep those kids happy on those long car rides. That's, that's <laughs> important. It's the little things. Right? They were so happy. But your phone's always going to have power. That's great. And it's going to be a safer option. So that's really what we're looking for here. And it's simple. And I think, you know, as a gift item, listen, we're all pretty tied to our phones. So yeah. any gift that you give that enhances the experience with our phones, uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't say that. We probably should get away from our phones. But if we're using them in the car, and we are, we can't get away from that. But let's do it a little safer. So it's safer, it's easier, you've got your power. This is like kind of a why not? You wanna get a gift that you feel is gonna be safer for those people you're giving sure. it to. This is a great idea. Young drivers, 
I would say that they're Absolutely. maybe even more obsessed with their phone than I am. Just a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. So now you're helping them. Help them concentrate on the road, but honestly, make it easier. Because you know what we're like when the phone falls between mm -hmm. the seat or the phone falls on the floor. You mentioned like the phone can fall it flies into the driver's area break. under your feet. Yeah. That, that's always a bad, bad and idea. And the reason, another reason this is a great giftable item too is you don't have to know what kind of car they drive. You don't have to know what kind of cell phone they have because everything about this is customizable. I mean, this is the mount that I, I took off here that easily adjusts. So they could have one of the newer big phones. They could have a smaller phone if it's an MP3 player. You don't have to be concerned about that. You just know that they have it and they use it and they drive and you care about them and you want them to be hands-free and make it a little bit easier. Easier. Also, you could have a 2005 car like I have or have a newer car, but you probably have one of those cigarette lighter or 12 sure. volt adapters, whether it's in the dash or some of the newer ones are in the middle console because you've got an adjustable neck here. You can turn this any way that you need to and you can swivel from landscape to straight up and down. It's up to you. Totally customizable. So for gifting, for me, it's a $20 bill and it's something that I know you will use no matter how well I know you if it's an office party or it's a relative. You have a cell phone and you drive, great gift. Exactly. And, and think about this, that you're getting in and out of the car, and this would be important to me. So, you know, okay. you've got tons of things in your hand, and you want to make sure that this is going to be a big process to get the phone situated, because if it is, guess what? You're not going to use it. You're going to throw it on the seat. But when you see this, that you can just grab your phone and reach in there nice. and just throw it in there. You slap it in there. <laughs> it's like a magic See, trick. It has, a, it has those really sticky rubber. And then to get it out, basically, you're just pulling it the same way. So again, I'll show you that. All I'm doing is pushing it on that one side. So you see that side's going to extend, but it's strong enough. It's gripping that phone. This is that iPhone 7 Plus. So that's the bigger phone, and it does a great job. Smaller phones, it's going to do it just as well. So in and out of there is super easy. Get in there. You know what's nice about yeah. this, too, is that it's it's sturdy and it yeah. holds it. Because you've seen the other kinds that are maybe they're the little sticky thing you stick up on your dash or they try to go into your AC vent right, and it's right. falling down or it's breaking or your phone's sliding out. This is sturdy. I mean, it's going right into that adapter and you've got the adjustability here, but it's strong. Like, this is not some loose, flimsy thing. So what you're holding is going to stay put and that's the whole point. No, I think this, you're absolutely you know? right. So this part that holds the phone is strong. It has the rubber in there, so it's going to be keeping your phone safe and it's not gonna scratch it up. But this part, you know, if this was really floppy, that mm -hmm. wouldn't help. Yeah. But it really will stay in whatever position you put it in because it really is a strong, you know, we call that that gooseneck and yeah. it can go everywhere. So if yours is down this way, you can still position it the way you want and then you can turn that whichever direction you want as well. So if it goes in the car this way, so that's gonna plug in, now you can get it exactly where you want. So I'm gonna come back around front and then I'll show you that. Sure. Because again, there, I have the smaller phone in there. So I have the smaller phone and it's in the landscape, so you can just take that out. You can add, whoops, I don't wanna drop that. You add the bigger phone just like that and it holds it. So then I'll go back. That smaller one is even easier to get in there just like that. And, and you know what else? Put it exactly where we want. We use it for nav. We use it when we're talking, but so many of us now are streaming our music, especially if you're gifting a younger driver. That also yeah. kills your battery. Yeah. So don't forget, you guys, there are chargers down here. There's two USB right. ports, so you can charge your device as you're streaming your music or charge whatever else you need to charge in your car. You're not using up that adapter because not only do you have the two USB ports, but I love that you can still use the adapter here. It's a pass-through. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it's so practical. It really is. It adds that <laughs> power it adds that safety part of this that we all I think you know we're concerned about that and yeah. remember so what about having this this nav system then holding this and you talked about it earlier Michelle that we could have this actually facing the passenger side right so it's still holding it but that you know you can direct this so the passenger could actually be helping out with the navigation so you can have your co-pilot and they can be looking at that nav system right. so you don't even have to look at it but it is a great way to keep your phone safe so it's not falling down to keep it fully charged which is great and it's uh, just something that we can all use because yeah. as you said from the very beginning if you drive a car and you have a cell phone this is gonna work for yeah, you, you and know you, you know we it. all talk about hands-free is what makes it safer in the car that's great you can be hands-free but where is your cell phone just because your hands aren't on it is it Correct. in that passenger seat did it fall between the two seats that you're driving is it underneath your feet now because you did a quick stop so this is a way to still be hands-free but have it in the same place for the whole ride charge it if you need it stream your music use the navigation take that call because you can see the phone right there you're not digging through a purse I do that all the time or a diaper 
diaper bag or something. Let's just make it easier and safer. And if it's a giftable item, it's such a simple way to gift anybody on your list. The men, the women, the coworkers, the best friends, the grandchildren, the kid who just went off to college and you know they use that cell phone to stream music. Whoever it is, this is a no brainer. These are my favorite types of gifts along with that three piece tool set that we did earlier because it's a $20 bill and it's going to be used every single day. And you could get one for each car that you have or if you just have the one, all you do is plug it into that cigarette lighter so you could transfer between cars, no problem. Yeah, I like that. Maybe you have multiple drivers with the kids. Have one in the car so everyone yeah. will use it. As soon as they get in the car, they'll pop their phone in there, whatever phone they have, and you're gonna love it. Awesome, all right, thank you, Pete. You thank brought us you. some amazing fun. stuff yeah, today.